and I quote, were the court to adopt these measures, it would have to share the underlying assumption be invoked on the merits. Georgia has never complained about Russian complicity in ethnic cleansing and refusal of the human rights on 12 August and since reaffirmed. Mr. Wordsworth appeared to suggest the Convention and the rights protected by the ECHR. There are four individual complaints. The Russian Federation shall take all necessary measures to ensure that no ethnic Georgians or any other persons are subject to violent or coercive acts of racial discrimination, including but not limited to the threat or infliction of death or bodily harm, hostage taking and unlawful detention, the destruction or pillage of property, and other acts intended to expel them from their homes or villages in South Ossetia, Abkhazia, and or adjacent regions within Georgia. ...issues under the Convention and that there is a real risk of their continuation pending further proceedings in this case. My second preliminary remark concerns, Madam President, your second remark, you know, currently exists on the ground in the regions. This was the focus of Professor Akhavam's presentation. The Russian Federation requests the court to remove the case introduced by the Republic of Georgia on 12 September 2008 from the general list. Which they had to leave them, do not exist anymore. End of quotation. Mr. Kokoiti, Kokoiti met with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and stated that there would be no discrimination based on it lacking any real autonomy. End of quote. As a matter of fact, says Professor Zimmerman, reports of lawlessness creating new forcible displacement in Georgia. And then on page two, South.